Hi, now you've downloaded the JBlock Creator software, you should have it in a folder on your computer. When you've downloaded it, you'll see the jar file, which is what's going to run the software, and the images file here, which contains the information to support the interface. You have an input folder, which you'll need to create, which I've created here, and if you go into it, you'll see a spreadsheet sample output. It's a text file, which has come straight out of a size dream scanner, set to specific measurements we've determined are required for each of the drafts. The output folder you'll require as well, this is where the patterns are going to go. If you double click on the interface, it will open. I have it open here. So after double clicking on it, when it opens up, you'll go to select input file. You'll select the location for that, and this will be where the text output that's come from the scanner will be located. And then select the output file, and again, you can select the location the patterns are going to go to. So once you've done that with these two, you can then determine what you want from it. So we can turn off key points of circles and key point coordinates so we don't see those on the pattern that's going to come out. We can then determine which patterns we want to see. So for now, we're going to select those drafted similar to or almost the same as manually will be drafted to BZ and Bonds method. You can also choose to conduct analysis and we'll come to that in a minute. First, we're going to output these patterns. So if we now run the software, and it will have produced our patterns. If we go to the folder where the interface is, you'll see the output patterns here. We can go to the BC and Bond. We can then click on the different patterns. We can go to the skirt pattern, and then we can view that. So for now, we're just going to open it with e-drawings, which will let us view the DXF output. So you can see the information that's accompanying it here. So we have this standard block. We have the pattern outline and all the rest of the information. So you can also create an output where you can conduct analysis. So in this instance, we want a layered rectangle plot here, which should look at the population rather than a single plot. We can keep the scale box with the user ID. We want to see connecting lines. We can keep the key points as circles. We'll turn off key point coordinates for this. And we've selected two measurements. These are the IDs for the measurement. One of them is the measurement of the seat depth, so the depth of the body at the level of the seat, front to back depth, and then the body rise, so essentially the crotch to waist height from each of the scans as well. If we run this, this should then give us an output. If we go back to our output folder, at the top level here, we can see rectangle plot, and then if we have a look at this rectangle plot, we can open this with e-drawings, and this will show us a rectangle plot of the population that we selected. And it will show us the relative depth of their body at the seat in the x-axis and the relative height of their body rise in the y-axis. And so from this, you can have a clear visual indication of crotch depth and height requirements for a population, which will help you understand, again, how a population might relate to a pattern and the requirements of the crotch area of a pattern. So we close that down and go back to it. One further thing we can do from this is we can take these patterns and we can import them directly into Lectra software. So we have Madaris open. And so we can now go up to the AMA output here. We can right click, create a new alias, and we'll call this test. And then we can seek the access path, which will be taking us to where we've created the patterns. So the desktop in the JBlock folder. We can pick the output patterns here. We can go into here and pick the skirt. We say OK. OK. And then our test is here. So we click on that. We can then pick the pieces we'd like to import. So we'll take these patterns here. And then you can see the pattern pieces have come directly into Lectra there. Just get rid of that sheet. And there they are. So this is the pattern DXF files imported directly into Lectra. So this is the possibility of what you can do with the current interface for the JBlock software running version 1.2. Thank you.